Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to the My Sword Podcast. I'm here in the studio with my co-host, Sammy. Hey, how's it going, guys? It is a very exciting episode this week because this week, um, or actually, the, what is it, the 23rd, I believe, we hit one year of the My Sword Podcast, Woo! and to celebrate, to do so, we have some very special guests with us. They've been on the podcast uh, within the year that's happened. First... We are going to talk to Mr. Jed Bryan about his uh, movie, Unlisted Owner. We're going to talk to him. How's it been doing this past year since we've talked to him and get a little caught up with Jed Bryan. So, Jed, thank you for coming back on the show. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. I, I really am happy that you invited me back, especially to se- celebrate such a big milestone for you guys. So, congratulations on that. Great stuff. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate the kind words. So, we're going to talk to you. I'm a little curious of how you've been doing this last year and stuff like that. Also, we got... Mr. Eddie from Eddie Tainment on the podcast, and he hit another milestone within that year, too. He hit 100 subscribers, and he's on his way to 200. Eddie, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing great, man. Congratulations on having a year, man. I've really appreciated getting to know you and collaborating with you on these podcasts and other podcasts that we started to join up and do some creative stuff. And congratulations. It's always good collaborating with you, brother. Really looking forward to this episode. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We got a lot of uh, stuff we're going to talk about today. But before we do so, we got a couple of sponsors. This episode of the Mile Sword Podcast, one year anniversary edition, is sponsored by the movie Unlisted Owner. It is now available on um, DVD. I'm pretty. Is it already out on Blu-ray yet, Jed, or is it coming soon on Blu-ray? It is coming soon. Uh, we're still uh, working on that. Uh, there's a, a the guy who's mastering it is J.R. Bookwalter. Uh, some people may have heard of him. He uh, wrote and directed the film The Dead Next Door. Uh, right now, he's working on a full restoration of one of his earlier films called Robot Ninja. It has Burt Ward in it and some other people, nice. and uh, so he's been kind of tied up with that. But it should be here uh, hopefully in the next few months. We should have an official date, and we'll uh, definitely get that out for everybody. But, yeah, it's available on DVD and then uh, all the different streaming platforms, Amazon, uh, Google Play, uh, iTunes, all that stuff. So, yeah, go definitely check out Jed Bryant's uh, first debut film, Unlisted Owner. It is a found footage-style horror film. It is uh, one of my favorite found footage films out there today. So, Go check it out. I definitely recommend it. It's it was actually number one in a lot of the or it was in the top ten, I believe, right? In the in the uh, the horror. Yeah, for, yeah, for Amazon, uh, whenever it came out, uh, we made the top ten on Amazon's top one hundred hot new horror release list, and we stayed actually on the top one hundred for I think it was thirteen weeks. So uh, so yeah, it's it's been a great run. I mean, I've talked to people all over the world uh, since this movies came out. It's just been a such a great experience, and definitely gets me prepared for future projects. Definitely. So check out Unlisted Owner. It is out now. I will leave a link in the description as to where you can find Unlisted Owner on the different platforms available. Also, if you really enjoyed Unlisted Owner, I suggest you pick it up on DVD. It is out now. Blu-ray is coming soon, so look out for the Blu-ray as well. Our next sponsor is, of course, the streaming platform known as Shudder. They are a horror streaming platform, and they stream some of the best and most iconic horror films up there. Sadly, do they, they do not uh, stream Unlisted Owner yet, which hopefully is coming soon. That would be Fingers really crossed. cool. Fingers <laughs> crossed to get on Shudder. But nonetheless, Shudder is giving my viewers a 14-day free trial of their service. Sign up using promo code MINDLESS, and you get a 14-day free trial to Shudder.com. You can look at some of the most iconic horror films, B-movie horror films that are still iconic to this day. I highly suggest this platform. It is an amazing platform for all you horror fans. So that is Shutter.com and use promo code MINDLESS for a 14-day free trial. So let's get started with the show. Uh, this is going to be one of my favorite episodes probably because we're going to be catching up with Jed Bryan on the show today. He uh, 
He approached me last year about his movie Unlisted Owner, <laughs> and I for sure was beyond interested. Uh, so that night I had watched the movie, and then we did the interview that weekend. Um, and now he – it's been a year, and I've been following him on Instagram, social media. He has been doing a lot of uh, signings all over the place. Uh, it, there's not like one week that goes by that I don't see he's got a lot of exciting news. And I also heard that he just had a new – uh, uh, he just had a new kid recently. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, actually, he is eight months now. So it's uh, it's been quite a year, actually. Uh, whenever we found out, because uh, we completed Endless Donor in uh, thirteen, it took us a little bit to get a distribution deal. And once we got the deal and all the uh, the details ironed out on ironed out with that, we uh, found out like a week after we found out when it was coming out we found out that we were having a baby. So it was like, oh, man, I got all this stuff going on all at the same time. But, I mean, it worked out great. I mean, we made the top ten on Amazon. And uh, I've done – did three different Barnes & Noble in-store DVD signings, which has been amazing. So uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more signings this year. We're going to be doing uh, – we're doing a horror convention at Days of the Dead uh, in Indianapolis, Indiana. I think it's July 5th through the 7th or 8th, I believe. Uh, I think Pamela Anderson is going to be there, which is kind of crazy. And uh, Kurt Angle is going to be there also. Nice. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what other uh, horror icons will be there, but some of the ones they've had in the past, uh, they've had Tony Todd there. They've had uh, they've had Dee Wallace. Uh, they've had, let's see, uh, Bill Mosley I've met there. I mean, the list goes on and on. Of, I mean, last year I missed Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. That was probably one of the coolest things ever. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm a huge wrestling fan. So when I saw that picture, I was extremely jealous that you got to meet two of the founding members of the NWO. That was that was really cool. So um, yeah, yeah, it was it, it's it's a great convention. So if you're in the Midwest area and you want to go to a great uh, horror con, highly recommend Days of the Dead. We'll be there. We'll have T-shirts, uh, Blu-rays, DVDs, and we'll probably have posters there. So uh, if you're in the Indianapolis area or just the Midwest and want to come to a cool horror con, come to Days of the Dead and come out and say hi. And I can guarantee you, if you buy a DVD, poster, shirt, Blu-ray, whatever merchandise they're selling, I can guarantee you these nice folks over here at Unlisted Owner will sign it for you because they are down to earth right. people like that, and they appreciate all your support for the movies and stuff, and they are happy to do so. So, so Jed, tell me, how has the movie been doing this year? I mean, it, it sounds like you've had an amazing year as far <laughs> as as uh, movie signings. Um, you've been, I've been seeing it pop up all over uh, around iconic other uh, films and stuff like that. Uh, how, how's the movie just been doing and and, and, and stuff like that? It's been doing good. Uh, I mean, we've. I mean, it's been pretty crazy to actually be doing in-store DVD signings uh, at Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble has been amazing towards uh, us for sure. I mean, they've let us have three different in-store signings. Two were in Evansville, Indiana. One was in Greenwood, Indiana, which is right outside of Indy. And uh, it's like we sold like 23 copies at the ones in uh, at the one at. Uh, Indy, and then we sold, I think it was like 19 and 15 at the ones in Evansville. So, I mean, it was, it's been a great experience for sure. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's still going strong. I've had a lot of people wanting the Blu-ray, so I'm so happy to finally be able to have the Blu-ray coming out now. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they want they collect Blu-rays only. You know, nothing against DVDs or the movie or anything like that. But they just tell me, you know, when the Blu-ray comes out, you let me know. I'm going to get me a copy. So I'm really excited for that. And then, like I said, we've got... We have unlisted owner T-shirts, and they've been like flying off the shelves. I mean, we got uh, two or three in the UK right now. We got a couple in Hawaii. I mean, we got them all over the place. So it, it, it's pretty amazing to see like all the support for the movie and how it just keeps growing and growing with the following it's getting. Yeah, uh, like I said, like those people said too. No disrespect to DVDs. I, I am I am the same category of Blu-ray. So when that Blu-ray hits the shelves, you let me know because I want to get me a copy of that to add to the horror collection back there. Awesome. Sure. I'd be honored. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, man. So, other than that, though, how, how's your year been in the, in the past year, man? I mean, it sounds like you've just been having – been really busy, of course, with your new – with your newborn child as well. Um, going on eight months with your with your kid, that that is just awesome, man. How, how's being a father and uh, how – what's what's coming up in the future for you? 
It's it's been a really crazy year. Uh, it, one thing it's been it was kind of cool. Uh, whenever he was born and we were in the hospital, uh, one of the shirts I had packed was a Fangoria uh, shirt because you know Fangoria is back. So uh, I actually posted a picture on uh, Twitter of me holding my son with the Fangoria shirt, and they they retweeted it, and that was that was a pretty cool moment. I also think they put it on their uh, Instagram as well. But uh, we've also been. Uh, We've been in Scream Magazine, which is a pretty big horror magazine. So that was a, a pretty cool little, you know, nod to us in that. And then uh, I also acted in a film uh, back in October uh, called it's called Trick and Treats. I'm not 100 percent sure on the release date yet, but the film does star Malcolm McDowell as a talking jack-o'-lantern. So I am pretty excited about this film to be able to be in a film that has Malcolm McDowell. Uh, the cast and crew have been amazing. It's uh, out of uh, it was shot in Mount Zion, Illinois, at Heroic Age Studios. So I'm really excited for you guys to check this film out because I had a lot of fun just doing the small part that I was in in the film. So uh, I, I, like I said, I think they're aiming for hopefully October this. This year but I'm sure I'll have more updates as they come available for that film um, and then I've been working on a few scripts there's a few things I kind of got going on but it's too early to really an announce anything yet and just kind of see how this year goes especially with the blu-ray release hopefully it'll really take off and we'll be able to sell quite a few blu-rays I'm hoping for that too so like I said it's uh, it's been quite a year it definitely has <laughs> yeah sounds it sounds like a really busy year um, but I mean, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for you, man. I, I, I told you when you came on the podcast, you're gonna be the one of the next big horror directors out there, and I keep my word to that. It's coming soon. You got a lot of stuff looking like on your plate right now. You got a lot of, uh, looks like you have a lot of success coming your way, and that, that's awesome, man. Uh, for sure, when that movie hits, though, the one that you just recently did, uh, let us know. We'll, we'll get you back on the podcast. We'll talk about it and stuff like that. Very much looking forward to hearing about that, though, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, the uh, the the script was. I mean, from what I read of the script, I mean, it's a it's a great story. And I'm just, you know, I know they've been working hard trying to get this thing made, and I was just lucky enough to be able to have a small role in it. And it just, you know, it's just another thing to you know add on the IMDb. So it was a pretty cool experience. But uh, but yeah, it's been like I said, this year has been pretty. Well, last year has been pretty crazy. So uh, we'll see what this year brings, and uh, fingers crossed, we'll uh, 2019 will be. A pretty amazing year. All right, Mr. Jed Bryan, the director and writer, and I, I, did you produce the movie as well, right? Wrote, directed, acted, produced. Uh, Jack much. of all trades. And, and, and anything you can think of, I was like, you know, it's kind of like my baby, my first movie. So, uh, but yeah, and, and like I said, if you get a chance to check out Unlisted Owner, be sure to rate it. Um, I can't stress that enough. Rate it on IMDb, rate it on whatever platform you rent it or watch it on, uh, because you know people really you know look at that. So uh, the more ratings, the better. So and, and thanks to you guys for having me on the show and allowing me to talk about the movie and uh, getting the word out. So thanks again. Hey, no problem. Happy to have you. So Mr. <clears throat> Jed Bryan wrote, produced, acted, did about almost everything he could. Put sweat, blood, and tears into this movie. It is out now, unlisted owner. I highly recommend it go checking it out available on a lot of uh, streaming platforms such as iTunes um, Amazon Prime uh, you know YouTube it's on is, YouTube is it on YouTube is it on YouTube yeah yeah you could you can rent it on YouTube on yep, YouTube so. there you go yeah yeah so and it's also available on DVD if you guys are just the type to have the physical copy I completely don't blame you guys that's good to have in the collection next we're going to talk to my buddy, Eddie. Now, Eddie has been collabing with me for quite some time now. We met back in... It's been, it's been about a year now, hasn't Eddie? It has, and before I got on today, you did not tell me I'd be following up a, a director, producer, <laughs> slash actor, okay? So, this is not... <laughs> um, so Eddie, <laughs> how's your channel been doing, my friend? I mean, it's been a great experience. Uh, as I told you, I started another channel prior to this, and it was something that I thought would be catchy, but the, the love wasn't necessarily there, so I didn't follow through with it. But when it came to Halloween Horror Nights, horror in general, and then travel, um, I really do have a, a true love for that, and I, I continually want to experience new horror films, new horror or haunts, and then travel the world as much as I possibly can. So I found myself really enjoying putting out the content out there. 
Um, the channel has grown much quicker than I thought it would. I, I set myself a, an expectation of growing my channel by, by 70 uh, followers by the October hot time, and I was well over it by, by the time that that came around. So it's been a great experience. I've met amazing people like you, Sam in the back, who hasn't said much, but I, I can see his beautiful face on the, <laughs> on the webcam. Thanks, thanks. Um, it, it's been a, an amazing experience. I've met people also like Awkward Arsic, you know, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> extraordinary vloggers. I, I, I kid with them. Um, Zombie Chris. So the, the community, um, the people that I've met, and the experience, just being able to like get out there, videotape, and record things and then being able to like edit and be as creative as I possibly can. It, it's basically like being a mini Jed Brian, you know? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just go for it, man. Film, yeah. film, film. Yep, yep. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But, hey man, I, I I have not checked out your movie, but I am extremely excited to check it out now and I did not know I'd be following you up, man. <laughs> well, hey, hey, it, it's an honor to be on the podcast with you, and I'm definitely going to be subscribing to your channel and checking out all your stuff. So, uh, and congrats on uh, you know the success of your channel. So, and I really hope you enjoy Unlisted Owner. And I forgot to say this before: if you do buy it on DVD, it's going to have 10 minutes of special features, and then when you buy it on Blu-ray, it'll have actually 20 minutes of special features plus a commentary. I forgot about that. Nice, <laughs> nice. It's coming in. I like that. Definitely. I like that. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a couple signature copies out here for sure. Definitely. Heck yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, going into 2019, I'm I'm expecting to do a lot more of the same, as well as adding hopefully some type of like series, some consistency as far as like what my shows are gonna be like. So hopefully, like having like a, a consistent Wednesday post, as well as getting some merchandise out there. At the moment, I have merchandise that I've come out with, and I've posted on my on my Twitter and my social media, so people can see what it looks like. Um, I'm not expecting to sell it anytime soon, but I'm definitely expecting to get some out there, so I could just give away to people. Um, the people who support me, they they're gonna get it for free. So um, I, I'm not looking to to make any money just yet. I'm really just looking to you know please the fans, thank them for for watching me at my infinitesimal stages. You know, I'm just a baby right now. Yeah. So, yeah. I appreciate that support. I'm going to give back as much as I possibly can, and I'm going to continue to try to make entertaining comment or content. Of course. Content. Yeah, you, uh, you, you and I have done a lot of stuff. We've created a couple of uh, different original series that me and you are going to come up with, and I have a feeling this year we're going to go big with them. We got, of course, the East versus West series where we compare East versus West similarities or differences of some sort, and we have a little debate of uh, either whose is better how who's uh, how's their event can improve or what we like about their events and stuff like that and then of course we got the breakdown where we're going to take some of our favorite movies some of our favorite tv shows and break them down for you as far as what our opinions are what we want to see in the future and what we liked about them, what we disliked about them. we're going to break down each and everything for you uh breakdown of course is on eddie tamit's channel and east versus west is on my channel but of course it includes both of uh, our beautiful voices in the um, of course, videos. So, Eddie, what are your plans for the year, of course, of 2019? And we got a new, fresh start of Slate. Um, what, what, are, what, are, what are our plans for this year? What do, what, what, what do you want to do this year? Um, so, first and foremost, I, I just want to get some travel out there. So, go and check out some of the theme parks. Um, horror is really like where where my heart lies. So. Um, any horror films that, are, that come out throughout this time, I know La Llorona and a couple other horror films are coming out. Uh, I, I want to review those and also want to do some like background story to what La Llorona is. So those are some of my ideas. Um, but really for the first half of the year, it's probably just doing more of the travel slash theme park vlogs. Uh, so out there with the camera in my face, just showing everybody what, what it's like and kind of what the experiences could be like, maybe some of the secret experiences. And then when we get around the, the June, May time, start really ramping up for that horror season because that's when we're really starting to like learn what exactly is coming to Halloween Horn, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, Hollow Scream, um, you know, all, all the events that are out there will start announcing some of the, the offerings for the year. Um, I'm sure well before then, but that's when we're really like in the the gritty part of like we know some of the the good stuff that's coming out and some of the better stuff is yet to be announced yes sir i do agree um i have a feeling 
2019 is going to be both of our years, man. Uh, we're going to jump up there, climb that mountain, never stop climbing and stuff like that, get our ways up there, especially also with Jed Bryan the same way, man. I think all, all three of us, we're going to have a really good year this year. Um, we're barely going on the second month, so we, you know we still got a lot of time in this year to do what we have to do to get up there. But in the end of the day, it's all about doing it for the fans that we love, for the genre of horror that we love. Or if you're like Eddie Tamet, you do a little bit of everything, doing what he just loves to do. Um, and I, I have a feeling this year is going to be our year, guys, because it's honestly um, the last year has been amazing. The Mindless Horror Podcast I've been loving to do um, all the time whenever I get the chance to do it uh, and we've been trying to do it consistently of course every week when we get the chance but of course some weeks are uh, better than others but um, I have a feeling that for all three of us this year this is going to be our year Heck yeah! One thing I do suggest for you guys to check out one of these years, and I, I've been three years in a row. This will be, uh, yeah, this will be year three. It's called uh, Trans World Haunt Show, Haunted Attraction Show. It's in St. Louis, Missouri. It's the largest haunted house convention in the whole country that I'm aware, of, maybe even the world. And basically, <clears throat> what the uh, the convention is, because I go there every year to look for people to make props and stuff like that. But it, uh, I mean, people from like, you know, Six Flags theme parks all over come to Transworld to see what the newest innovative things that are coming out for the haunt in industry. I'm sure that you guys saw uh, on social media, it went viral of the big, huge, giant it monster thing that had the spider legs in yeah. the back. Yeah. That debuted there. So I, I saw it before it went viral and stuff, but it is, like I said, it is a fantastic show to go to. You can meet all kinds of, of creators of, because like I said, these, I mean, prop makers, uh, I mean, they even got people, they have a, it's called Froggy's Fog, and all they do is specialize in different fogs that you can get in snow and stuff. And like I said, it's an amazing event. I highly recommend you checking it out. Uh, but yeah, it's the most innovative stuff in the haunt industry that you can you can see, and it's in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. I think every year around March is whenever it, it happens. So highly recommend looking into that. Uh, I might just have to do that. I might have to make a trip. But on top of that, I just want to say, Anthony, it's going to be a great year for all four of us. All four Same of us. Year. Yeah, Sammy's in there. Up. Sammy, me and Sammy count as one. Come on now. Come on, we we're trying to be entertaining over here. <laughs> entertaining. So, I'm gonna let Sammy take over for a little bit. Sammy's, I, I know he's been kind of in the back right there, but my new co-host Sammy, he's been on the podcast for about five or six episodes now. Uh, we've just been kind of getting to know what Sammy's tastes are on horror. Uh, of course, he's not um, as well knowledge as we are, but I am working on that. I'm trying to Frankenstein him right now. So let me get a, <laughs> let me get a little time right now, and I'll get I'll get him I'll get him in the knowledge though. But Sammy, it is good to uh, celebrate the one year with you as my new co-host. Um, how have you been liking the podcast so far? Definitely no, it's really exciting. I I'm honored to be the new co-host. I um, mean, add another voice to the the podcast and another perspective as a you know the noob out here knowing nothing about horror, but you know really trying to put the boots on and learn as much as I can and put the boots on so I'm less scared because yeah, yeah. low-key I watched The Conjuring 2 and I was like I don't know if I can ever watch another horror movie in my life <laughs> <laughs> I see that none everywhere <laughs> but uh, besides the point um, no, it's been really fun I think it's really cool to come here and talk about something I don't get to talk to and really have an opportunity to just chit chat with one of my best buds here and yeah. Um, talk about really fun things, whether it be, you know, the last year and celebrate a year or, you know, talking about like our top 25 horror films and really trying to like, see like what movies do I like and why do I like these movies? And yep. I know I'm really excited for 2019. I know that we've already had a month past, um, but you know, I'm really excited. You got big movies, Pet Cemetery. I'm real excited to see that, uh, La Llorona, you know heard about her growing up and so it's gonna be really cool to see how they messed that up no i don't think they're gonna mess it up though because james wan is doing it and james wan is a pretty legendary uh horror director in these last couple years so i, I have faith in that movie definitely and i'm also excited to see the knights of horror get to a thousand subscribers i'm trying to climb up there i'm trying man. i am very much trying that way i can actually you know put money where my mouth is and really do attend um um halloween horror nights this year and Get really scared and 
probably not sleep, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. Um, Sam, <clears throat> it is always a pleasure to have you on the podcast every week. Uh, we do do this and stuff like that, and I am really looking forward to this new year as to what we're going to be doing. I have We have an exciting announcement as of this episode. Episode 30, we are going to start doing actually um, video recorded podcasts. So not only are you going to hear our voices, but you're going to get to see our instant reactions in studio and stuff like that. We already kind of have a way of we're going to set it up and stuff. So we're going to start doing video recorded podcasts. So not only – so it's going to be actually video. Now. They're going to be able to see us inside the studio. Yeah. So that should be pretty fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but – Let's, Let's talk, talk a little bit about, about some of my, at least at least maybe a couple of my favorite memories of the Miles War podcast. Um, first and foremost, a year ago, almost to the day, I think it passed maybe, but it, you know it's about to the day. Um, I had Jed Bryan on the on the podcast for the first time. Um, I was very honored to have him on the podcast because he had uh, texted me. On social media, like, hey, listen, I, I'm, a, I'm the director, producer, uh, actor of this. Uh, my, my new uh, debut movie, movie Unlisted Owner. Um, I had I never heard about it, so when he texted me about it and it piqued my interest about what it was, it was a found footage, uh, like slasher type film, film. And, yeah. I, and I was really looking forward to watching it. So when he had asked me if I would do conduct an interview with him, I was honored because the podcast had just launched then and he had uh, came on and asked me if I would do this interview with him and I was more than honored to do so. I ended up watching his movie and I really enjoyed it and we got to do a fun interview. Um, and it's cool to have Jed back on because uh, now I get to see what he's been doing in the last year. Um, of course, I've followed him on social media, and he and I have kind of still stayed connected. And this kind of proves to you, even after a year, me and Jed, we're still, uh, we're still friends. We're still talking and stuff like that. So, uh, yep. Jed, I really thank you for coming on, and I really thank you for that one year ago for giving me the opportunity to conduct an interview with you, even though we were just getting started. That was really cool of you to do that. Hey, not a problem. And, and like I said, I'm all about, you know, helping out. I mean, we, us independence, you know, I mean, like, you know, my movie was completely independent. You know, there was no studio backing it and stuff. And you guys were a podcast just starting out. So I, I was glad to kind of, you know, let you guys be able to interview me and just, you know, kind of help get the word out about the podcast. And uh, I was really honored to be on your show. And I mean, your knowledge of horror is, you know, bar to none. So, uh, so yeah, I couldn't think of a better podcast to be on. So I appreciate it. Yeah. And honestly, I, I after the podcast, <clears throat> Uh, happened. I started seeing him doing other podcasts and stuff like that. So I started seeing him and the movie grow a little bit, and I and I was really, really just really proud of this guy because he's been he like he said no no studio backed him and everything, and he went out there and he produced his movie, he edited it and everything, and you know he did all this work to this movie, and that that shows that if you put all the hard work and dedication into something that you really love, that one day you're gonna be achieving. Your, your goals, your dreams, and stuff like that. And and Jed Bryan is a perfect example of that. He put his, like I said, blood, sweat, and tears into this movie. And now this movie's been out. He's been doing DVD signings. He's going to be at conventions. He's going to be, you know, he's coming out with the Blu-ray release and stuff like that. And I just think it's really awesome what you've been doing with this movie. And I cannot be more thankful for you being on the podcast, letting me uh, put it as one of the sponsors of the show because I get to promote the movie that is actually a really good movie. That it's 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 rare that you get to see rare really good uh, horror these days. I mean, um, yeah, horror is coming there's... back up in a big way. So yeah, it's it's and you know <clears throat> one thing too about this you know my movie and stuff it really does show you that I mean if you have the drive and determination to you know you have an idea and you think it's worth doing just go for it and you know don't worry about you know failure just keep your eye on the prize and just keep on going because i mean i'm not gonna lie i mean unlisted owner i mean it's we fit we wrapped it in 13 and it took me from 13 to 17 to get it released for the you know for the general public to be able to see so i mean there was a lot of hard work involved i mean we submitted to film festivals we didn't get accepted i mean there was a lot of you know roadblocks along the way but in the end you know we proved everybody wrong that hey you know just because you know yeah, it's not getting into film festivals and people aren't really buzzing about it right now. But as soon as it came out, it just kind of took off. So it's been, you know, it's been a it's been a great experience. But, you know, if if any if you learn anything from uh, hearing me talk about Unless Owner is that if you have a goal, go for it and don't worry about failure. Just go for it. And if you try hard enough, it'll work out in the end. Yep. Yep. 
And I really thank you for being on the podcast today. It's one year, and we're going to keep the celebration going with another one of my favorite memories of the podcast, of course. Every single time I've uh, collaborated with Eddie on the podcast as well. Um, Eddie, me and you, I think have been, I think you've been on, including this one, I think you've been on like three or four of my podcasts. And uh, yeah, uh, the thing about Eddie that I like too is that every time I tell him I need I need a, a co-host or something like that, we'll set up a date and he, he'll be there. Um, and and that, that that's really cool. I mean, especially with you two coming on, we set up a date. And of course, the first one, I, I you know I was busy that weekend, but we did postpone. And you guys were really cool about it. And now we're actually filming this uh, podcast. But uh, yeah, you guys have both been good. But you know, Eddie, uh, me and you have done a lot of videos over the the past year, and uh, some of my favorite collaborations have been with you. So. Brother, I want to thank you for that. Um, thank you for making a good 2018, uh, a, a really good year for the channel. And I'm hoping 2019 will be a, a great year for our channels as well. Yeah, of course, man. man. It's, it's been a true pleasure. Uh, I, I like collaborating with other creators as well. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to collaborate with another creator like yourself who I feel is so like-minded like myself. The content that we put out is very similar. A lot of times you've compared me to like you in, on the East Coast. Yeah. And, you know, the, I, I, I believe it, the same sentiment. You know, you are me on the West Coast. So um, being able to work with somebody like you, getting on the podcast, um, the first time you invited me on the podcast, I was terrified of actually being on a podcast because I didn't understand what it was like. And you just told me, just be you, man. It's all good. And we did it. We talked for an hour. And honestly, it felt like 20 minutes. Uh, and then after that, I was like, hey, man, I think one of the things that we should work on is being a little bit more concise because we could obviously, you know, we love this genre. We could talk about this all day. Yeah. Uh, but it was a great experience. And ever since then, this is something that I've wanted to integrate more and more into my own channel. Something that I really didn't think about doing a podcast just because I didn't I didn't understand it. Uh, but more and more, you introduced me to this format of reaching out to an audience. And I've really appreciated it. Um, I've watched some of your videos. You've grown a lot, not just on the podcast end. So, thank you for having me, man. I, I really appreciate it. Hey, I'm always I'm always down for having guests. I love collaborating with other creators. Uh, you bring two great minds together. You guys can always create something that's really good. And I believe uh, collaboration helps everyone in the end. So, um, I've had a lot of other amazing guests over the years as well. Uh, one of the first, I think, guests as well. Along with Jed Bryan was SoCal Exploring, um, and he's been doing pretty some pretty good things over the years. He just hit a thousand subscribers as of last year, so good for him. Hope he keeps it up, man. And he's he's back. It looks like with HHN stuff, so good for him as well. Definitely um, doing stuff that he likes. He does a lot of uh, you know construction updates, theme parks, and so thanks. So that that's cool for him, man. I'm, I'm hoping he's he's gonna keep up with that, you know. Definitely. So yeah, SoCal Exploring has been a great guest. Awkward Arsic, another guest. Much like Eddie Tainment was scared to come up on the show. He didn't know how to, you know, what to do. Uh, he literally told me before we came onto the show, I'm, I'm really awkward in real life. And I was like, well, welcome to, welcome to horror. Everyone's awkward in horror, dude. So, um, yeah, Awkward Arts came on the show and, uh, you know, he, he, it was a smooth sailing. Uh, just like Eddie said, it feels like 20 minutes, but you're, you know, you're sitting there for like an hour, hour and a half. Your guys are talking about... You know, horror and stuff like that, really getting into it, theories, um, talking about news, likes, dislikes, and uh, before you know it, it's it's done. So, yeah, Awkward Arsic was on the show, and that was pretty good. And, of course, TLEV have been on the show, and TLEV have also been a big uh, friend of the channel, big help of the channel. Um, but I, 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 in the end of the day, I'm mostly just glad to, to call them friends, uh, to see where their channel's been going since then. Uh, since, since I've had, had them, them, the near three-hour podcast we did with them, um, while I was, that was when I had the broken ankle as well. Yeah, definitely. So the three-hour podcast I had uh, conducted with them, um, we had such a good time, um, and uh, yeah, they've gone on to do a lot of good things now. They're they're at five thousand subscribers. That's a lot. And they're and they're making their way up, and so good for <clears> them. <throat> but I would say, out of Ups and downs, um, everything that we've been through with the podcast, mostly a lot of ups. Pretty much, there's not really a lot of downs at all. But 
the new co-hosts I've had, um, you do remember uh, we had Jeremiah's prior to Sammy, um, he, and he did a couple episodes for a little bit, but then he had a move, and I, and I respected it, me and him talked about it and stuff like that. He, he moved away a little bit further. He's still in California, but he's a little bit further than he was before, so I was in dire need of a new co-host, and Sammy had just moved back from college, back to uh, where we live, and... Um, and Sammy stepped up right away, was interested. So now I got Sammy, and it's been a, it's been quite a ride the last couple, what is it, five or six episodes we've been doing? Yeah, we've only been doing it for a few weeks, uh, but I, I think uh, I think we bring energy to one another. Yeah. Um, that's super fun, you know, we keep it, it's just like, there's just mics in our face, and we're just talking. Just talking, that's, yeah. all, that's all the podcast really is, and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but it, it's been it's been quite a roller coaster ride this past year, and I and I've been been thankful to have every single guest that I have on the podcast, whether it's able to promote a movie of some sort, whether to promote a channel of some sort, um, collaborating on different series and stuff like that, whatever it may be. In the end, I am happy to have all these guests on the podcast, and it's and it's cool to interview people because it gets me a little bit of experience, more more practice as to when I go. Uh, interview for conventions or if I have to interview another guest as well I get to practice and get more experience as to learning what to do and what not to do and stuff like that so um, the podcast has been great and I loved having each and every one of these guests on the podcast they've made an impact and I hope that I've either trying to promote whatever they're trying to promote I hope I've made an impact on that um, so what's gonna happen with the future of the miles for podcast well we have a lot of good uh, stuff uh, coming around. We're going to get back to the roots of giving uh, horror news again. Um, and we're, we're transitioning into video podcasts. So um, I'm very much looking forward to the future of not only the channel but the podcast as well. And uh, we're going to hit 30 episodes uh, in, in like two weeks. Definitely. So that's another big milestone on the, on the podcast. 30 episodes and wow. It's, it's, it's been quite a roller coaster. But yeah, so... Of course, make sure to check out Mr. Jed Bryan's debut film, Unlisted Owner. It is out now on DVD. It is on available on many streaming uh, platforms from Amazon Prime to iTunes to YouTube, wherever. Uh, it's, it's available on a lot. Uh, Google awesome. Play. <laughs> Google Play. It, it, it's, it's, it's out there. And coming soon, uh, you heard it from Mr. Jed Bryan himself. In the next couple of months, we should be expecting the Blu-ray release with, of course, instead of 10 minutes of extra foot... Uh, what was it? Behind the scenes special interviews yeah, and special. We're going to get 20 minutes, an extra 10 minutes of extras on this Blu-ray. On top of that, a commentary for the movie. What was it like watching those commentaries, too, to hear what they were thinking as filming and stuff like that? So I'm very excited to finally add the unlisted owner uh, Blu-ray to my horror collection, of course. And I probably would have to get... I'm thinking about getting two copies. One so I can actually watch and one for a signing that I can keep. Uh, up in my little area. Definitely, that'd be great. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, I'd be happy, more than happy to get it signed for you by as many as the cast members as I can. So uh, I pre- it's, it's weird. Like people have been sending me their copies of the DVD in the mail for me to sign and ship it back to them. So it's been a, it's been a surreal experience for sure. So, uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to what you guys think of the Blu-ray once ever, whenever it comes out. And uh, oh, there was also something else. Uh, I, I recently found out that uh, we are one of the top horror films with the most F words in, our, in a horror film. Uh, I think there's like maybe one or two that are ahead of us, but we had 245 F words in our horror film. So that's uh, it's not, not quite a record, but you know, that's still a decent amount. <laughs> I'm going to say it here. Freaking congratulations for the fucks in your movie. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I just wanted to say, you know, I think it's a pleasure to be on the podcast and really be co-hosting. You know, I'm coming from a fan to being able to just sit in the same room and chit-chat, fan of entertainment, fan of uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Jed, Bryan. Jed Bryan. I can I was like, Mr. Bryan over here. <laughs> you know, hey, it's going to be sick, bro. Um, that works. Yeah, you know, so I think it's fun to be a fan as well as, you know, being a, a creator here and... Um, yeah, I'm really excited to you know push out more content, push out that video podcast, and really challenge um, one another uh, in this room to uh, to go on to bigger and better things and um, to you know keep people edutained, right? Edutained, and that brings <laughs> us to our last uh, guest of the day for the one year anniversary, Mister 
Eddie from Eddietainment, the guy. He's doing everything. He's coming back um, as of this week, as of this recording. It's going to be this week, and this will be out the same week as he makes his comeback. But it's been a little dry for Eddie, but Eddie is working on it, and I can guarantee you, you don't want to miss it. This guy's going to be blowing up. Um, keep stay tuned if you're not yet subscribed already. Links in the description. Go to subscribe to Eddie Tainment because he is coming up fast. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. It's been a little dry. I put out two two uh, videos this past month, as opposed to putting out like five videos a week prior to. Um, so I dropped off a little bit, but I'm still trying to put some stuff out there. But I'm picking it back up. We're we're gonna get back to probably around like two to three videos a week, and then as the season ramps up, get back to my five videos a week. Yep, yep. So you heard it here. Eddie Tamit's coming back. Unlisted owner on DVD on uh, streaming platforms available right now. And, of course, thank you for our sponsors. Of course, Unlisted owner, the movie, like I said, is out now. Available on DVD and on streaming platforms. And, of course, our other sponsor, Shudder, for giving us, my fans a 14-day free trial of their service. Use promo code MINDLESS when signing up for a 14-day free trial. That is promo code MINDLESS. And go check out a lot of the iconic horror films, B horror films, of course, everything horror related on that streaming platform. It's like Netflix for horror movies. That's the best way I can put it. Yeah. So, Shutter.com. Sign up using promo code Mindless. I hit my nose on my mic like twice already, and this is like <laughs> starting to frustrate me, frustrate me a little bit. But again, a special thank you to Jed Bryan and Eddie from Eddie Tainment uh, for being on the one year anniversary. I'm glad I locked you two down, of course, for the one year because you guys had a good impact on the podcast uh, within the one year. So thank you very much, gentlemen, and I appreciate your time. Of course, man. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right. That is going to do it for the Mindless Horror Podcast. Make sure to tune in next week because we got a very special surprise for you. We got locked down a not scary farm scare actor. We're going to be interviewing her of talking about her experience at the park, what it is to interview the process and stuff like that and you don't want to miss that podcast next week but thank you for tuning in to the one year anniversary of the podcast i really appreciate you guys and here's to uh another year coming our way yeah here's to another year so thank you ladies and gentlemen for listening to the podcast and we will see you guys next week goodbye bye